Thank you very much. I was uh, impressed by the uh, activities taken here in Azerbaijan to host refugees and to train them and to integrate them into the society as expressed by the representatives here. Uh, I was always, uh, also happy to hear the numbers from the United Nations representatives about solving refugees' problems uh, currently in the world. There are some 65 million uh, migrants around the world in 2016, and many of them uh, migrants that seek better life in their native countries. Although human migration has been a natural process that change characters of countries and nations throughout history, the current wave is exceptional since it, since it involves large and extremely poor populations with limited modern life skill. There are several kinds of migrants, and the question is, do we want to integrate them into the society, or do we want to provide them with temporary shelter? Now, we do not have to invest, to invent everything from scratch. Uh, seeking a, a model for inclusive policies requires a study of solutions implemented by countries that have successful experience in similar situation. Azerbaijan and Israel are such countries. Since its independence almost 70 years ago, Israel population grew about tenfold, mostly by immigration. From 1948 to 1951, the population doubled. That means that every citizen adopted a new immigrant, one-on-one. -on -one. This is unparalleled in history. The immigrants were refugees from Europe, Holocaust, and from persecution in Arab countries. How has Israel managed to transform these migrants into productive, loyal, and satisfied citizens? I will give some practical examples. Here are some of the benefits that migrants can expect upon arrival in Israel today. This was not the case many years ago, but now. First of all, language. Language is essential for integration. We need to teach the language of our country if you want to integrate these people. And so, in Israel, New immigrant receives free six months of Hebrew studies. A practical knowledge of the language enables integration into the society rather than uh, segregation into different language groups. Practical capabilities to speak, read, and write enable also finding better jobs. That means that these people receive six months of salary for the country just to sit and learn the language. Financial aids. Upon arrival, every new immigrant received a meaningful lump sum of money that makes settling down possible. Using this aid, newcomers can um, instantly rent an apartment for their families. The next day they arrive. Here are some details. A typical family will receive about $11,000 with the first payment in the airport upon landing. Half of it is, Im is immediately, the rest is given uh, monthly for six months after the newcomer's open bank account. They tell me that one minute is left. No. As of the second year, newcomers eligible for uh, apartment rent uh, support for, the four, for four more years. So they're supported for five years of um, rent support, up to 95% of the rent. And then they have a tax reductions, some tax and custom reduction. All of the above is only part of the integration story. When in 1990, large wave of immigration started to arrive in Israel from the open gates of Russia, many of the already settled population of Israel helped the newcomers to find jobs and to blend into Israel culture by welcoming them into the already existing social network. This is important. Newcomers do not belong to social networks. Local population can integrate them into the social networks. On top of this, there are many volunteering organizations that specialize in helping certain ethnic fraction of the immigrants. Examples include support 
extracurricular uh, education and instruction activities to newcomers from Ethiopia. An open question and subject of debate centers whether to segregate the community of newcomers so that they can maintain their culture or integrate them into society in, in, in a melting point. Israel has an experience in both. And the conclusion is that the melting pot approach is much better. Integration is done in school, resulting in more homogeneous society of the second generation. Not separate school, not separate classes, but integrate them into the existing classes. I want to finish. In conclusion, the Israel experience in absorbing and including into the society a relatively large number of immigrants, educating them and maximizing their potential can serve as a model for solving issues that result from the current mass migration. Thank you very much.